Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Gani Coder, and in this series of videos, I am solving hacker and Python challenges. So, our today's challenge is collections dot name tuple. The name tuple has same functionalities as a normal tuple, but we can access the name tuple both by name and position. We have to use dot name and offset position for that. It improves the readability of the code. Let's see our task. Here, Dr. John Wesley has a spreadsheet containing a list of students' ID, marks, class, and name. Your task is to help Dr. Wesley calculate the average marks of the students, means sum of all marks by total students. Columns can be in any order, means ID, marks, class, and name can be in any order. But the names has to be all in the upper case. Let's see the input format. The first line contains an integer n, the total number of students. The second line contains the name of the columns in any order. And the next n line contains the marks, id, name and class of different students. Our output format will be like this. Print the average marks of the students. In the sample input, we can see this phi is the name of students and the second line is the column of all the attributes means id marks name and class and then the next file line contains the details of the students same in the test case 2 but you can see it is not in the same sequence means here is marks class name and id and here id marks name and class we have to grab this marks column and Take the average of that. Here, same two. Means here the for the test case one, the 78 is the answer. In the test case two, 81 is the answer. Here they have also written that can you solve this challenge in four lines of code or less? And there is no penalty for the solution if it is more than four lines. But what I feel is that we should write the code in such a way that it is easy to read instead of python one-liners because when we write short code and visit again after some time we have to re understand the whole code but it is difficult to read the code at the first glance here in this video i am going to show you both the four lines and a good understandable code okay so let's begin with the big code here first we are going to import our module so from collections import name tuple now I'm going to take the input of n so n is equals to integer input okay now we are taking the data as a name tuple so data is equals to name tuple now i'm going to pass the name tuple means data and the type field means whichever the second line is means marks id name and class okay now I am going to use a empty list for taking the marks so we will call it a marks list. Now I am going to use a for loop so for i in range n and now I am going to take variable marks is equals to what I want to take the marks from that list so data from name tuple I want the marks attribute okay but we can get like this because we haven't taken the input yet so I'm going to just take the input here input dot split okay now we have the marks but it will be in the string format so I'm just going to wrap that in the integer of float it's up to you you can do whatever you want and I'm just going to append my marks list with the marks so marks list dot append marks okay now we have the marks so we can just write print statement means sum of all the marks means marks list and divide by the total number of students which is n we have already given that let's run our code and see what we get here our sample test case 0 and test case 1 is successfully run so let's submit our code our all six cases is successfully run so now i'm going to show you how we can write this code eight lines of code in just four lines i'm just going to comment this all down and make a four line of code 
okay these top three lines are going to be same okay so just copy this and paste this here okay i'm just going to uncomment it from control and slash okay now we are going to compress these five lines of code in just a single line how i am just going to print the sum of our list by total number of students but in this list i am going to use a list comprehension for that so in this list comprehension for i in range n okay i want to use this for i in range n but here i am just going to copy this code means this when we take the marks element from our list i am just copying this and pasting it here but why i don't prefer to write this kind of code because when i revisit this code after some time then it becomes difficult for me to understand this line this specific line because it do many works together so i write this code in several lines and then understand it it is a very time consuming task so that i don't prefer this kind of code okay so let's run this code and see what we get here our sample test case 0 and 1 is all successfully run so let's submit our code here our all six cases is successfully run if you like this video then don't forget to click like share comment subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to receive our latest video updates and if you want to see my source code the link is in the description box below